Okay, okay. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Let me see. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, let's uh, let's uh, hear where you're from, guys. Where are you from? Which countries we have aboard? I opened the chat window, guys. We got Germany, Guten Tag, Germany, Ethiopia, Lithuania, Brazil, Bon dia, Brazil, <laughs> Taiwan, Netherlands, Ethiopia, Ghana, Philippines, UK, Burundi, Australia. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> Guys, we, we, before we said always success has no face, but success has a face and the face is crowd one guys so yeah we're overwhelmed we're overwhelmed guys and yeah we have a full full program today we don't have a presentation today but we have a conversation uh, between uh, george and uh, our ceo johan stahl from holstein and i'm so happy uh, that we uh, we have this on this mother's day hey hats off for all our mothers hardworking mothers guys Happy Mother's Day globally. Uh, we appreciate uh, you giving birth and life uh, to all the children of the world, guys. And mothers are also the best <laughs> networkers on the planet, guys. So we're very happy. My name is Rens, Rens Delstra. Uh, I'm locked down here or locked up in Amsterdam uh, in the Netherlands, but our business is thriving than never before. And guys, I want to introduce you to my buddy, uh, George Van Wyk. He's also an ambassador, guys, in, uh, in our program called Crowd1 uh, uh, under the umbrella of uh, impactct.com, uh, our, 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 our company. And we have our visionary CEO aboard, guys. And with further ado, guys, with further ado, I want to give the mic now to Sir George. Sir George, are you here? Good afternoon on this beautiful day, Rens. Of course, I'm here. <laughs> How are you? Oh, First man. of all, congratulations it's... to the, all their moms. I think the most important person that we all have in our life, they are doing all an amazing job and it's a hard job these days. So this is really beautiful days. And that means also, Thank you all for being here in this large numbers in this important day that we are normally sharing with our family. And well, I hope that a lot of moms are here in this Zoom also. It's an important day. Uh, for those people that don't know me by now, my name is George, like Rand said. I'm from the Netherlands also, but I live originally in Spain. I'm still in Spain, locked up. Now for the week eight or nine, it's more or less. I've lost the count and I don't want to count. <laughs> it's not here now. But it's realized something really important also what the of the possibilities what crowd one is offering us that means we keep on working like normal thing it's it's the the move everything stop <laughs> only crowd one not that go faster than ever and yes i'm really proud that today um mr john stahl van holstein our ceo he have accepted to join us in this webinar i know how busy he is because this man is literally worked 24 7 i have the feeling and I saw him here in the Zoom, but I don't know if he's here. Mr. Johan, are you here? Let's open the microphone. Absolutely, I'm here. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Happy to hear from you here. I don't see you. But, uh... I'm waving to you. So there's so many people that are difficult to see. You can hear me? <laughs> yeah, hey, now I'm... I can see you. Okay. Sure. Oh, Mr. Johan, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for taking time this wonderful Sunday because we know how busy you are and more or less 24 seven, you're, you're always on the road. Do you sleep ever? <laughs> <laughs> I sleep, but I do work a lot. But you know, we all need to work a lot. It is, uh, it's part of the game. It's a tough and competitive world out there. Um, and um, success and prosperity comes to the people who do dig in and work hard. It's the, the, the hard truth. And you're a really clear example for every of us because we know how hard you're working. We had a really rough time and I don't, I know you don't like to tell about it, but you have won a really, really important fight. And we are all in the time for the COVID-19, the coronavirus. You've been attacked by it and you won. They won the fight. I mean, most do. Most people don't even have any signs at all. If you, the younger you are, the easier it passes by. 
when you're getting up in the ages as I am, it does hit you bad worse. I spent three weeks with, a, with fever, not very high fever, but regular fever coming and going for three weeks, which is a long time to be sick. And then I had, a, as most coronavirus patients have, a, a horrible, horrible cough that I was, you know, was killing me. But um, I think the important thing to know that I really recommend everybody is once you get it, you need to, have it, and everybody's going to get it. There is no way of getting around this. They can lock it down. They can keep away for a couple of months. It will come back. Eventually, everybody will get it. Uh, and most people, 90, 95% will not even feel that they have it. Uh, four or 5% will be moderately sick to sick. And less than 1% will actually die. And the ones who will die are the really old and the really ones who are really sick already. So I think that the world has considerably over-dramatized um, the situation. I'm obviously not an uh, immunologist. I'm not a doctor. I don't know anything about these things. But I think that people can have an idea and an opinion on this matter, even though they're not, because it's not just about healthcare issues. It's about turning the whole economies of the world upside down, ruining companies, ruining entrepreneurs, ruining families who will have to leave their homes and, and, and taking away the food on the table for a number of people around the world. I think that it has been considerably over-dramatized. I think the panic and chaos that's been created by politicians trying to show that they're powerful and, 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 um, and capa capa capable of making decisions has been terribly, terribly wrong. Being Swedish, where Sweden has been doing the opposite thing, saying that this is a disease, we have to go through it, everybody's going to get it. The mortality rate is going to be really, really low. Um, I think that is the only way to do this because there are other aspects to this than just the mere um, survival of every, every individual in the world. It is horrible, but we all have to die one day. Um, so my only recommendation is the one, when you get this, stay at home, stay in bed, uh, take it easy, do not exercise, do not work, do not make physical activities until you're sure that you're really good because this comes and goes for two, three times and takes for about 12 days. But as I said, most of you will not even get fever and won't have the problem. But what, uh, one of the things what the show this COVID is that all the companies, we have to be flexible. And this is one of the things what I'm really proud about Crowd1, how they adapt themselves to the situation. We have seen the, the amazing, beautiful online event what Crowd1 have organized. That was when I saw you first time again on stage. I was really proud. Okay, he is there again. Happy to see you. And today, for those people that haven't seen it, it it's there in the back office now and translated in four different languages. So it's subtitled. For, so if you haven't seen it or you have some people that don't speak English, go watch the event online because it's amazing. And it was literally, if Crowd1 can't come to you, Crowd, uh, if you don't come, come to Crowd1 because we cannot organize events, Crowd one will organize the event and bring it to your home. And it was really a beautiful event, what we have seen with really powerful messages. I, I think what, what Crowd One showed here is that entrepreneurship, true entrepreneurship, is all about adjusting, adopting, uh, reorganizing, trying again, never giving up, always trying to feel, find a way to your solutions. That goes for Crowd One as a top company, it goes to each individual out there trying to sell and make a prosperity from, from this thing. It's all about commitment, changing uh, problems into opportunities, making, finding solutions to, to um, be able to enjoy these opportunities and then never to give up and work hard. Um, and uh, I also think that we did a very good, it was our first one, it's gonna be better. You see the next one's gonna be even better. Um, and, um, you know, adopt, adjust, and I think that the foundation of Crowd1, the ability to work mobile, to work digitally, to have your tools in your hand, to work on distance, it is almost like it's our time to be. It's falling right into our hands because this is what the company is all about. It's exactly what the world needs right now. I'd love us to work with social distancing. We want to, in every situation and every matter that we can engage ourselves and work with you on social responsible issues, I want our company to work with social distancing to help communities and cities around the world to keep the lower rates on this uh, virus as possible, even though it eventually will get us all. Even if we get uh, 
some kind of vaccine in the future. This is something that's going to come back every year for, for a long time to go. So we need to adjust, not just working on mobiles today, but maybe forever. We need to work with social distancing in a way that we've not done ever before. And that may go on for a long time, maybe forever. So we want to be a responsible, socially engaged, um, socially sustainable company. And we want to show that our, we are dedicated to help and, and in every way we can to all these parts of the, of the economy in the, around the world. Well, and what Crowd1 of show always, this is a clear example. Crowd1 knows exactly where, or you know exactly where you want to bring this company and the road to that company, to that, the destination is not always the easiest roads and we find big blocks but we always have to find, and you are finding always the solution to bring it. And it can take a little bit longer before we read the destination, but with that we're gonna read, reach that part. That is a thing for sure. Where are we now? I think that um, it's important to say we don't know everything. Um, we don't know everything. Um, we are committed to where we want to go with this company, where we know, we know where we want to be. We know what you need. You need jobs, you need revenues, you need profits. We need to find you the products that you can truly sell and make money on. We need to find products for you to, to use that are beneficial or more efficient or cheaper. We need for you to have products that you can recommend if you're not a salesperson, not everybody is. It's much more difficult to sell than people imagine. We need people products for you to sell for people who are committed, engaged, and who want to sell, who want to build organizations around themselves to sell a lot, who want to sell to build a company, who want to become entrepreneurs. We want to give you a whole range of products, depending on what your interests, backgrounds, and knowledge and capabilities are, so that we can spread products into your regions in a completely new and disruptive way, not by advertising with a customer acquisition cost besides in, 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 with the large monopoly companies, Google and Facebook and Silicon Valley, uh, where customer acquisition costs for entrepreneurs around the world comes out into your pockets, wherever you are around the world, as sales commissions, and where these products come into the markets maybe 10 or 15 years before they would have without this type of a network. So, you know, it, it's difficult in many terms. We are criticized in some countries because they don't understand what we were. We criticize also so because we, at the beginning, were communicating things that we couldn't really elaborate around in a way that people understood what we are. And ICT, the reason ICT is coming into this and what I want to do with ICT and the reason why it's important to understand the difference between Crowd1 and ICT is that ICT wants to be completely compatible, com compliant to all laws and legislations around the world. We will not have any financial instruments that is against um, uh, the laws and legislations of, of the different countries we are. Like we have been criticized in, in Philippines and Paraguay. We do not have that, we will not have that. We're not going to be, do anything that does not comply to the laws. We are going to have, we already have products in our system. I don't think we have as many products as we need and where you can make as good commissions and provisions as you will for the pro for products. But we will, and we're working extremely hard to improve the sales packages that we have, to multiply them, to spread them over a wider range of knowledge and capabilities, to be more accurate to the types of contents and, and, and knowledge that you need to become successful. We're adding, we have the magazine, we're adding some of the gaming and lotteries, and we're adding a number of different things that's gonna be easier and easier to sell, give more and more profits, make more and more of an importance for you guys. But I need you to understand that this is not done overnight. I need you also to believe in our sincerity and long-term perspectives of ICT to give you this. I would never work in a company that did not have the, the absolute core interest to, to bring and drive good things, do good to society, sustainability, um, so resilience, where we can help grow, drive growth in developing countries through trade, where we can supply people with jobs who need them, where we can accurately give products that will give you the revenues that you need to be able to live on this. And much more so if you build large corporations, large networks, and you make sure to supply and help everybody in your downline to become successful. 
you have to take the same type of responsibility and commitment as we do to have your downline work and be engaged and committed and patient. You know, the critics that we are getting around now for some of the parts, a lot of people, a lot of competitors of ours are really wanting us to fail, wanting us not to be able to show up with the products and the things that we want to do, but we're going to show them because together we are an amazing team. I can even understand why people want to be part of um, Crowd1, not even to consume, to recommend or sell, but just to be part of it because of the energy, the commitment, the lovely people that I have met in Asia and Africa, and I can't wait to get to South America, get back to Africa and Asia as well, of course, but the lovely people I have met, the people that are truly passionate about wanting to build their communities around them, wanting to help their downline, wanting, wanting to raise people up to get a better life. Um, we will, I mean, I will, my team will, we will break our backs to find you these products and to answer up to any government around the world, to, to any critics they have and turn, if, if there's something wrong with our business, we will turn it wrong to be compliant to the markets where they are. So if you're in markets where they are criticizing us, you have to understand that you have to answer to the laws and the legislations of your countries as we will. But we will work very fast, as fast as we can to make, get into a discussion um, and resolve any outstanding issues and create a, a method and a product, a company that, that is compliant to the markets where they are. There are a few countries around the world where we will never be able to enter or not for a long time. It's like America and the countries that America has banned for political reasons. But in all other countries where we are present, we will do our utmost to answer up to the laws and legislations of these countries and to become compliant. If that would be impossible, we will have to pull out of these countries. But I don't think that there are any countries or at least an utterly few countries where we will not be able to resolve these problems in, in the long run. So, and let me also please uh, advise you and remember, not just advise, but to, to tell you, it's important now during this time of the year that you make your taxes, you fill in your taxes, you pay your taxes. This is something that needs to be done it is something that's in our terms and conditions that you are responsible for the income that you're making and paying the taxes in the countries where you are. Um, if we're gonna be a successful, long-term, sustainable and resilient company, I want to put this company on the stock exchange to show and prove how long-term and how good this company is and the potential in this market and the good we want to do to your regions, you have to support us and being loyal and, and, and do the things on your side that needs to be done. So I hope you can understand that this is a process that we need to convince a lot of people around us of our sincerity. We have to prove our sincerity through the compliance and transparency that we're working with. I will find you the products. I guarantee I will find you the products. If you stick in there long-term, I will find you the products so that you can sell and take yourself from where you are to where you want to be, wherever that means. Well, I had a long list of questions, but you have answered them all in once in this conversation. But I think the key word, what you're saying now is really that the part, be patient. We know how hard the whole company is working, especially you, to find all the products. And this time what we are living, it may, don't make it much easier uh, because it's, there's restrictions can, can be moving. But I know, I'm sure 100% that you're going to deliver all our people and the company everything we need. Just be patient. Just give the opportunity to the company to develop and bring them all. We are just here. We just arrived. It's just one year that we are operating. And if you see the amazing growth of the company is passing through and it's the last two months, it's like, like ages, we, the company haven't, couldn't move in any place. So in the grow, I think by the end of the year, we are fully operating. I'm convinced that you will bring the company where you want to have. And this is a long, long term. We are here for how long? 10, 20 years? I don't care for the rest of the life. So we'll be long, long time here. I um, think there's a couple of really important things to understand. The company is less than a year and a half old. I see, I, I, crowd one is less than a yeah. half and a year old. 
ICT was put up on the 10th of December, and we're still not ready with all the legal quirks and work that we need to do to have this completely up and running and taking over all the assets and liabilities of the companies. And we're 5 million people in this network. It's one of the fastest growing companies in the world. And of course, that makes everybody look at it. That rises suspicion. That makes people criticize, not to mention jealous. A lot of people are very, very jealous of what has been created here. And honestly, I would have loved us to be only 1 million and have the 5 million that's come in over the last couple of months in half a year's time, but we're not there. We have to face realities. We are more successful. We're growing faster than we could have ever dreamt of, than we could have ever believed. And because of that, we are behind in recruitments and the product development and, uh, and some of these things, but we will get these things out there. We will get these things out there. And... Um, you have to just bear with us and understand, even if you start a small restaurant in Sweden, where I come from, a restaurant counts on 1,000 days before it becomes very profitable. This is a restaurant that might have 150 people per night with 5 million people in 170 countries, and it's been created in a year and a half. It is an amazing achievement. And, um, and because of that, it is also pushing amazing amounts of pressure on us. If you look at Herbalife, they have 2.8 million people uh, in their network, so they're half our size, about. Um, they have 3,800 employees. We have 5 million people with 45 employees. Uh, we, we, are, we have to work hard, um, but we also have to grow our dom domestic processes, uh, technology-wise, we have to catch up, we have to recruit people, and, and all of these things. Everything is equally important for you in the long term, that we have everything that we have to the compliance team are working of finding now the people in philippines to talk to how do we talk to them when they haven't really approached us how can we get into their system what issues is it they have how can we adjust it this is one country out of 170. we need to have this legal network to be able to comply to all these products we need to find the products that we have the products that we find need to be integrated into our platform our system to be able to supply you with what you need. And then we need to build the accounting system, the compliance, the transparency, the recruitment, to build a platform that's your communicative platform, to improve the educational program, programs. So I, I hate to say that you have to wait. I hate to say that this is taking more time than we had expected. I hate to say that all we did, we had not realized that there were so many problems with the gambling side that every single country has different laws and legislation that has prolong the process of doing this. But you must understand yourself, we have 5 million people who want us to find products for them to sell. Can you imagine going to companies now saying, we could sell your products, and there was oh, how many salespeople do you have? Uh, 5 million? We, you know, we will get amazing products. Once we get these products, even if there's sometimes they might be silly because we might just want to make a test to prove things. Let's say we would sell a book. If we could sell 2 million books uh, or 15 million books, it's ridiculous in terms of revenue for you and for us, but it would show the whole world a power that's never been seen before in the world. And that would get us into more and more profound and, and exciting things. We are looking at so many things that's gonna come out and over the next couple of weeks and months. Um, I'm not gonna, of course, tell you any of these things because that's Jonas who runs the network, who runs the sales and promotions, who's fantastic at this, probably the best in the world, who's responsible for all of that. But I promise you, we are working so hard and we're finding so good products and we're doing so much, but you know, be patient, be with us, be long-term, be resilient and take care of your downlines, help people that need help, be responsible yourselves as well. And we will do something fantastic together. I think this last message is really important and really powerful message. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope everybody understands now that they give the company time to work. And I think they understand it now. We are just here at the start. Uh, I think that's a really powerful message to end this, this interview. I want to lift, uh, give the last word uh, to Mr. Renz. I want to thank you very, very much for your precious time, Mr. Johan. I know how busy you are, and especially now, even in Sunday, you're working all over to give us, to give the company, to give the people what we want and what we need. And I know that we'll be there. And when? 
I don't care. I know it will be there. And that's the most important thing. We are here for a long, long time. Rens, are you here? I just want to thank you, Rens, as well, for the tremendous job you're doing, uh, the commitment you're putting in. You know, if people understood how hard you guys work and people like Ant and Magnus and Bjorn, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed at the passion and commitment um, on the top leader side. I, I, and I love the passion and the people that I meet when I come out to the events around the world. And I can't wait to get back on traveling again because I'm a peace and people person. I love people and I'm a very sentimental and emotional person. Um, it's so important for me that I will find these products for people way down in these networks to be able to sell and make money and get a better life. Um, I would hate myself if I failed. Um, and I want my kids to be proud of me and what I do. And I think they will if I can help making your regions around the world a better place to live in. We are here 100% committed, 100% focused, and we stay here for long, long term, together with you, together with the whole company, no doubt about it. And we love what we are doing. Renz, I see you. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm so happy, uh, Sir Johan, uh, with your uh, openness on, uh, on our call. We got a great audience. We got a thousand leaders here on, uh, on Zoom, but we got almost 1700 on, uh, on, on YouTube. It's amazing, the reach. And guys, uh, I really hope that you feel that we work from heart to heart in this company, guys. And that's the, that, that's the big message on, on this modern, modern day. So thank you so much, Sir Johan, for your presence on, on this uh, uh, Sunday. Uh, uh, <laughs> we will see each other hopefully very soon. And I'm looking out uh, for the next live stream from the company. Thank you so much, Sir Johan. Perfect. Thank you all very much. And uh, I admire your commitment. I feel for you where you are in the situation around the world, locked in in many countries, uh, um, striving to get um, food for your families and uh, income for your companies. And, um, you know, we're, we're in this together. We'll, we'll make this fantastic together. Thank you all very much. Always happy to be with you. Thank you very much. You See so you soon. Much. See you in Madrid. Yeah. <laughs> See you in Madrid. <laughs> Bye. Wow. Wow, man. I'm, 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 I'm having, uh, uh, I'm having goosebumps, uh, George. Yeah. <laughs> it was a real powerful message. I'm so happy yeah. that the gentleman made time to be yeah. here with us because I know how busy he is. I've had the opportunity to speak several times with him and. I'm wondering if he's asleep because literally 24 seven he's always on the phone. He's always working. I'm really proud that he's our CEO. I know by sure that if we give him the opportunity and, and we are doing it, he will bring the company one where he wish it will be. So he want where it's always where we are, want that the company are going. And it's not yeah. easy. It's a really hard. I don't want to be in his shoes <laughs> because I'm honestly, Wow, man, it's, yeah, we're, we're working from A to faint, as we say, uh, but also on the company side, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you see uh, how, how it's all about commitment uh, and it's all about discipline. Uh, you have to discipline yourself, guys, and either you do it with passion or you don't do it. And uh, that's, that's the name of the game here. Uh, and I'm so happy to work with uh, George and Bjorn and uh, a lot of great, great guys. And we are even surprised by our own growth in this company we never had this kind of growth guys yeah and and yeah um what i wish that the people can feel that the yeah events when we were in january in the company in stockholm there we see a whole team of marvelous people working and the most important thing what i saw there what was my mind opinion i saw really great professionals but what all really great people that are working in harmony. There was no noise, there was no nervous. There was just one strong people that was leading the whole team, Mr. Jonas. I was comparing with like the, the symphonic orchestra. Everybody was the best player in every instrument. And you know, Mr. Jonas was with the, the stick and he was controlling the whole movement. And that was such a beautiful concert because there was such a peaceful, there was no noise. Everybody was focused working, but we've been there several times and it was every time was the same focused concentration. And if we 
Jon Stahl von Holstein on one side here in Madrid working. Jonas was his team working in Stockholm. They are gonna bring the company where they, they to the top. And it takes time. It gives them the time. That's the only thing. We are just one year here, nothing else. A normal, regular company takes five years to be, reach this level. And they wish they reach, it, they reach the level where we are. And they have done it in one. Yeah. Give them time. And we are really far away. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you Friends, so much. up to you because I talk too much. <laughs> yeah, 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 well, I, I want to sign up again, George. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Sign up again. <laughs> No, no, uh, really, ladies and gentlemen, we work from heart to heart. And, and, and I always say we are in what we call the shipping business. And even the management is, is, is like this, guys. Uh, it's, it's friendshiping, partnershiping, fellowshiping, leadershiping. And that's what we do here. And, 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 and I think, uh, like me and George, uh, you felt it also from uh, the heart of uh, our CEO, guys. Uh, and that's rare to find it's rare to find because in most companies it's only about business and, and not even about people and so hopefully uh, uh everybody enjoyed uh, uh this conversation between george and uh, our ceo yeah and i'm so happy that uh, george gave me that call to give me the tip from this company uh, because he brought me to this company guys uh, and and um, me and my family were very grateful and right now uh, I'm going to reveal the five winners of the Black Pack, uh, George. And, uh, wow. we, we did a, a video contest and guys, I'm flooded. I'm flooded. Uh, we want uh, to have like the, the, we always said in the past, success has no face, but uh, uh, success has a face in crowd one. Uh, uh, and I want to show the five winners and uh, the five winners of the Black Packs, but Tomorrow in our next webinars, uh, today we give five black packs to five winners, but tomorrow, <laughs> because we got so much uh, people sending their uh, videos in, tomorrow we will do a second draw on the same contest with five white packs. Yeah, so um, today we have uh, these winners. And a few of them are from, I think from Africa, a few of them are from uh, Asia. Uh, the names are here on the, on the screen. And uh, Mr. Steve Johnson, I think he's from the Caribbean. Cher uh, Muska, uh, Fumi Chauka, uh, Mrs. Lourdes uh, Aisma, and Conry Clint Williams. These are the five winners. We have your emails. And we have your emails, guys. Uh, congratulations. I will send uh, in, in like 30 minutes from now through your mailbox, your private mailbox, your, uh, your uh, black codes. So you can either use it or you can sell it. So enjoy it. But tomorrow we will draw five uh, winners from the same contest and we will give away five white packs, guys. So tomorrow we have a uh, presentation again, guys. Uh, today we don't have a presentation uh, in less than 30 minutes we have sunday school from uh, mr peter jacobson and i'm trying to find the link do you have the link there uh, um... i'm gonna send it right by you in the whatsapp okay okay so we have a sunday school by our corporate trainer mr peter jacobson and guys don't forget to subscribe on our youtube live link and thank you all uh, our, our partners, our, our brand partners, our affiliates that logged in today on the, on the YouTube guys. Uh, uh, thank you for logging in, but don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because then you get a notification every time we do a raffle or we have uh, somebody from the management on a, on, a, on a call or yeah, we have something news updates about the products or services. And so we're very, very happy. So, um, the link is here. So guys, thank you for being here. See you tomorrow, same time, same link uh, on Zoom and YouTube Live, and we will draw five uh, white packs. Yeah, so George, thank you for this uh, conversation. Yeah. Thank you very much for letting me in. Uh, remind again, this amazing webinar, what we will have in, th in 25 minutes with Mr. Peter Jacobson. Don't miss it. You will find the link. Uh, Renz, if you share it here also, we leave the site a little bit open so that people can uh, see the link here. Yeah.
Okay, great, marvelous. Be there. Mr. J. Peter Jacobson will be there. He will help you to reach your goals. He can bring you where you never have dared to dream up where you can go. So be in the, in the, in the webinar. It's in 25 minutes from now. I'm going to see you all there. Glenn, thank you very much. It was an amazing day. I was really happy that Mr. Johan gave us the opportunity to be with him here. And uh, well, the future is bright. Are you ready? I am. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, guys, uh, thank you for being here. Don't forget to spoil your moms. Uh, if you still have a mom, spoil her. And not only today, but also uh, tomorrow and the day after. Go to the link of the Sunday School for Mr. Peter Jacobson. And thank you again, our CEO, our visionary CEO, and Mr. Johan Stahl from Holstein. Guys, see you tomorrow in the next webinar. God bless you. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye.